You've probably had the issue that your website is not ranking on Google. And when you go to Google Search Console to check if everything is working correctly, you notice a section that says crawled but not indexed. And then you see a lot of your pages in there. What does that mean and how can you fix it? Let's talk about that right now. If you go into your Google Search Console account, you're going to find the section called coverage. Within that section, you're going to find information related to how Google is looking at the different pages of your website, how many uh, pages are valid, how many pages have errors on them. And also you're going to find one that says excluded. Google puts everything in there, every single page that has not been indexed for a variety of reasons. Maybe there's a, a 404 error, maybe there's a server error while it would try to crawl some of the pages, everything will be there. But right now we want to talk specifically about uh, one category of excluded pages, which is crawled, but not indexed, which is pretty similar to another one you may know that it's called discovered, but not indexed. So let me tell you about that one first. Discovered, but not indexed means that Google knows about your pages, but has not crawled them, thus has not indexed them. So if you get that, there's nothing you can do about it. All you have to do is wait until Google comes back to your website and then crawls the pages that it has already discovered so it can determine if it's going to add them to the index or not. But the other one, which is crawled but not indexed, is a little bit different because it means that Google discovered your page, crawled it, but decided not to add it to its index. If a page is not added to the index, it cannot rank on Google. So it's really important to make sure that every single one of the pages of your website is being crawled and indexed. So what can you do if Google crawls your website or your pages, but decides not to index them and why does it happen? All right, so let's figure out the why. If Google got to your website, crawled it, but decided not to index it, it means that it decided that it doesn't provide as much value as it should to appear in the search results. It's that simple. Google somehow determined that it won't show that page because it doesn't provide enough value to the users. Then what can you do to fix that so Google can see that it does provide value? We are going to go over six things that you need to look into that will help Google index correctly your pages, right? So remember, as we said, the first problem that we have is that Google determined for some reason that your website is not uh, providing enough value to be indexed. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that we have good content on it. One of the reasons that some of the pages get crawled but not indexed is because the content is not good enough. This happens a lot with automated content. When content is created automatically with AI tools, for example, and the content is not edited enough, then Google can determine that it's not worth showing it on the search results. So it doesn't even index the content. So the first thing, make sure that your content is unique and good enough to be indexed. That's really important. Go over your content. If you actually did use an AI tool to write your content, well, go over the content and rewrite it to provide more value. Make sure it doesn't seem like it's generated automatically, but create content that actually provides value. That's one of the first things you can do to make sure that Google will index uh, your content. The second thing you need to look at is try to avoid thin content. What is thin content? Well, just what the word says. You have too little content on the page, thus Google thinks that it won't provide any value if it shows up in search results. So it's too little content. Make sure you have enough content to explain the topic of the page. Maybe you have a lot of photos in there, which is good, but not enough text content that explains what the page is about. So add more content to your page so Google can see that it will provide value and then make sure that it's indexed correctly. Third thing you can check for is make sure that you have canonical tag. What is that? That's a little snippet of code that goes into your website that Google uses it to determine the main source of that content in particular. So if your website for some reason or the page in particular does not have the canonical tag, Google may not understand where is the main source for that content. Usually the canonical tag has the link to the same page where the content is at. So all you have to do is make sure you add it there 
and then Google will see that the page is the original source for the content. So you already made sure that you have unique content, that you have enough content. In other words, you don't have thin content. And you also made sure that your page has canonical tags. Number four, make sure you have enough internal links pointing to the page that is not being indexed. Of course, you must have other pages. That was a cat. Uh, make sure, I'm sure you already have an other pages that are indexed. So make sure that those pages are linking internally to the page that is not being indexed. That way, when Google comes to your website, crawls it, and sees that the page that it's not indexing is being internally linked, then that's going to give power to that page and you have better chances of Google actually wanting to index it. So internal links are really powerful. So Google can understand that that page is made to provide value, All right? Number five, now that we're talking about internal links, let's also talk about external links. Work on creating backlinks. If you can create backlinks from other pages, Google will find them and figure out, oh, wait, if other websites are linking to this page that I don't want to index, but I, because I believe that it doesn't provide value, maybe it is providing value because others are linking to it and that will increase its chances of being indexed. So work on creating backlinks. They don't have to be like really strong backlinks, just backlinks from other websites that are related to the topic of your website. So Google can see that others are mentioning you. That immediately shows that it's providing value and increases the chances of that page in particular of being indexed. And number six, also work on creating social links. Focus on those websites or networks that actually get crawled by Google. Twitter is a perfect example. Google crawls everything that happens within Twitter. So if you tweet out the link to the page that is not being indexed, Google will pick it up and figure out that, again, if someone, even if it's yourself, someone is mentioning that page in, on Twitter, it means that somehow it will provide value. So it increases the chances of that page being indexed. So keep in mind that even though if you do everything we just talked about, Google may still decide not to index your pages. There's nothing we can do to force Google. But if you do everything with that we talked about right now, your chances of getting indexed increase exponentially. So just as a recap, remember, try to use unique content. Make sure you don't have thin content. Make sure that you're using canonical tags, do internal links, do backlinks, and then do social links. All of that put together will send signals to Google that that page has to be indexed because everyone is talking about it via the links because it has enough content there to be indexed and to provide value to the end users. Now, as I said, you can't force Google to do what you want, but at least if you do some of the recommended things that we just talked about, your chances of getting indexed are much, much higher. Now, uh, even if you do all of this and even if Google indexes your pages, ranking on Google takes time. Uh, but how long does it take? Well, check out this next video where I answer that question that I get so many times. How long will it take for my website to rank on Google? That's something that everyone wants to know. Luckily, in this video, I'll tell you how you can figure that out. So go check that video and I'll see you over there.